Hi, everyone. I'm Steve Canella with Ted Keith for SI.com. Ted, we've had our first big trade since opening day. Josh Hamilton going back to the Texas Rangers from the Anaheim Angels. A, why do you think this happened? B, why do you think the Rangers want to make this trade for a guy who's clearly struggling? What's the fallout from this trade? Well, the, the surprising thing to me here is that the Angels are literally not getting anything in yeah. exchange for this. And not only that, but they obviously <laughs> wanted to not have to pay right. that huge amount of money left on Josh Hamilton's five-year, $125 million contract. And rightly so, they're being forced to pay the huge majority of the money left on that contract. So I don't really, I don't really see the upside here for them in terms of, you know, they weren't going to have Hamilton on the field for a little while anyway because of his shoulder issue. They still have to pay him a lot of money. And for added measure, they seem to, I would think, have poisoned the well a little bit with other players and, and potential free agents and maybe even agents around baseball who have to wonder about, you know, are the Angels going to act as some sort of morality police right. if they get into some sort of trouble? Now, that's not to say that Hamilton is blameless here. We know that he put himself in this situation with his behavior over the years, but he has a real illness, a disease that has to be managed and treated. And in that sense, I think most people around baseball will be glad to see him go back to the Rangers because he did have success there, both on the field where he won an MVP award and was probably the best player in baseball for a couple of years, and off the field where he managed to stay clean and sober for a number of years. So if any team has the opportunity to sort of right Hamilton's ship, I would think it would be the Texas Rangers. You know, we have to wait till he gets back on the field before we know for sure, but it, it feels like a real upside play for Texas. Yeah, I, I agree. And I think the troubling thing, you talk about other free agents maybe looking at going to Anaheim down the road, the troubling thing is, if, if you're someone else looking at that situation, is the Angels are left with a situation here that they very much got themselves into and very much could have seen coming. Everyone knew the risks of signing Josh Hamilton to that contract that they did two years ago. And now that those risks played out the way a lot of people said, hey, this, this could happen, there's a very real chance this could happen, they look like they're trying to run away and wash their hands as fast as they can. It seemed like they tried to have it both ways with this contract with, with Hamilton. They were happy to welcome back if he had success. Didn't want any part of him if he, if he fell down. Yeah, and he talked about when he went to Anaheim, he felt that whole first season he was pressing. I mean, he underperformed. Mm -hmm. Remember in 2012, playing for the Rangers, which was not a year that he won the MVP, that was 2010, but he was as good, if not better, than sure. he had been the year he won the MVP award. And suddenly, he was half that player the next year in Anaheim, and, and he admitted that the reason was partly he was trying to live up to that contract. He's the last guy who needs to put additional pressure on right. himself on the field, right? His whole life is pressure off the field, it would seem like. Being in a comfortable surrounding, I would think, is half the battle for him. So he can kind of get his mind right and then still play out the rest of his contract, maybe even have trade value to another team if it comes to that. So it'll definitely be worth watching. Let's not forget Rangers left fielders so far this season batting a combined under 200. Josh Hamilton can only be an improvement when he can get back out on the field. <laughs> Josh Hamilton, a guy whose career has been full of incredible highs and incredible lows. We'll see what's next for him in Texas.